Manolito, das Manolito y su trabuco. ¿Cómo se llama la canción, Walter? Eh, camina, camina para que veas. Camina para que veas. ¿Qué nos puede decir de, uh, de lo, el último concierto que tuvieron Manolito y su trabuco acá en este en San Francisco? Have they been here before? Yeah, before that time? they were here in uh, March, I believe. Yeah, they were at Cafe Kokomo's and I actually had the honor of uh, DJing that event. DJing, that's right. That's yeah, right. Manolito y su trabuco all the way from uh, La Habana, Cuba. So that was an honor for me. That's cool. How long they been around the game, man? Because they've been around for they've a minute. Been, uh, they've been around at least, at least. Man, at least, man, close to 20 years, I would imagine. That's that's what I'm saying. A lot of these, like, like este grupo de salsa cubanos. Bueno, el cubatón es una nueva, es una nueva ola, ¿no? That's Pero right. muchos de estos grupos de salsa, especialmente cubanos, they, I mean, the least, they, they, they're like, what, 20 years old? That's right, I mean? right. Charanga Banera, how, long, how old they are? They're Almost 20, 20 right? plus, 20 plus. 20 yeah. plus, yeah. damn, man. So they've yeah. been going around for no, a minute, man. They've man. been putting in works in the 90s. I mean, that, that was like the, the peak of the, the, the timba uh, scene in, in Cuba. That's cool. Okay, so uh, a little introduction for everybody that uh, has been listening to us. Maybe you just got in right now. Um, we, let me explain to you a little bit what, we, what we're trying to do on Tuesday nights. Um, we're trying to start um, a Caribbean show. So we're going to play because a, a lot of the music um, that it's more toward, like, that is more from Panama and more from este, Cuba and Salsa, in especial, no se está tocando mucho en All In Radio. So we're trying to fill in that, fill in that gap right now and bring right. to the big, I mean, the big community in the Bay Area of Salsa because it's huge, especially the timba. Yeah, no, ha, ha cogido eh, fuerza, gracias a Dios, ha cogido right? fuerza, you know. Ha sido un movimiento que got my boy, like, he needs to take credit for, for it, man. Like, <laughs> the timba scene <laughs> is getting bigger because of this mofo right here, for reals, because... From what I understand, um, Timba is not really that popular in other parts of the United States as not, it is here. Not at all, not at all. You go to New York, you go to anywhere, Miami, even Miami. In even fact. Miami, yeah, you know, they they really don't play it because it's not yeah, really popular. People don't people really don't they don't know it, and then when they hear it, it's it sounds like something foreign to them because they're used to, you know, the regular South, salsa, yeah. 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 So, now even San Jose, bro, like <laughs> we don't have to go right. that far, right? True. true but indeed. um. Now, um, I wanted to ask you in terms of um, um, the way women dance. Who do you think looks better dancing? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a woman looks better dancing timba or looks better dancing regular salsa, in your opinion? In, in my opinion, I mean, it just depends on, yeah, the dancer. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're dancing, you know, "Quote unquote Puerto Rican style or or timba style, if, if, yeah, New York, two, two, yeah, whatever. West Coast, right, West Coast. <laughs> Yo, no, you're really gonna stop my doing mom, all of that I'm shit, saying, right? man. Dance just to dance, man. What happened to dancing just to have fun? <laughs> right, all the all the motherfucking the step moves. People hey. be telling me, oh, do you know how to do that? St they call like, it crossover man, lead, hey, right? Cross Some body shit. lead. Like, yeah, you, you gotta so fill out an application classes, just, to gonna... just to just to dance with somebody. You gotta fill out a resume, an application, and then and and have a resume. It's 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 funny how I'm gonna. Say American people, right. um, in in mostly whites. <laughs> Don't take any offense. I mean, they're not they're trying to offend. But how they break up things so in order for they to understand, like exactly. cross body lead, and then exactly. you put your step back. Right. Yeah, I don't know the name of the. I don't know. I back just spin do it. and right. uh, side, <laughs> some shit like that. I yeah, no, I don't understand. I don't understand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. And one, two. some of them you can tell they right. still thinking inside yeah. their head. They're like. <laughs> Now, you know, uh, there's a lot of dudes that took classes and still got, they added the flavor that they already had, which right, is, you know, which right. is cool. I got nothing, actually, I got, not, I got nothing but respect for people, regardless if you, you're a motherfucker who doesn't have a lot of na rhythm naturally, but takes the classes and fucking ends up dancing some shit. Exactly. You, you know, don't always have to be in that salsa stance, you know what I'm saying? Get loose with it, you know? So you don't have to, you know, be counting in your head and, you're right, you're and, right. be, and be scared to dance on your own. Yeah, you you're know? right, you're right, you're right. And I feel you on that one. Trust me, man. Um, but you just gotta accept that this, some people are not coordinated like that. They, right. they cannot coordinate their moves like that. You know what I mean? So they have to think in this, and that's why I'm saying, like, I still give them respect because they're able to, you know, build up that courage to be like, I'm gonna take on this uh, new dance move that I never heard in my life. I never grew up with it. Of course. And I'm adopted, and I'm embracing, I'm enjoy it, and they go and do it. So that's to right. some extent, you gotta you give them some credit. Like, you cool. Yeah, I see him doing <laughs> right, the, the robotic cool. steps, and I'm like, you, you're still cool, bro. You're still cool. <laughs> right. Now I want you to I want you to clear this um, idea that I, I I keep hearing from from mm -hmm. from different people. Um, okay. Is the truth that the timba scene and just salsa in general 
it's harder in San Francisco than most places where you would think it's 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 no, big like it's, New York and Miami. That's real and I've I've been to New York, I've worked in New York, I've worked in Miami, I've worked in LA and man, hands down, you know, San Francisco the Bay has has it cracking as far as Cuban music. Damn. That's and that's that's the real that's, that's real the real. Shit. That's the real. You know, I mean I, I in New York it's it's sad. Really? In, in, in Miami. Even Miami. In Miami. Now, a lot of the things that I hear from some people now take, you know, don't take this as reality. These are just people that tell me and I'm trying to clear my doubts. But I, they tell me that they don't even play Cuban music that often. No. At least a few years back. Right. Because they are very reluctant to appreciate anything from Cuba that comes out of Cuba. Right. Because they feel like they're, they're supporting the, 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 the regime common, of Fidel Castro. Right, Who the fuck regime. thinks of that? That's right. how they think, you know. Those are those are people that that have been there since you know since since the revolution. So there uh -huh. are a lot of uh, hurt folks, a lot of people that you know their houses. But that's taken taking a little bit too far, though. It's right. it's funny. This is the funny. This is the, the 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 irony in it. You don't support a type of music because it comes from a dictatorship of right. Fidel Castro, which is oppressive in its in nature. But you at the same time are oppressing people from like not hearing it, from not listening to it. You're preventing right. because a lot of them prevent. Like they right. don't want to work with people that are doing the, the radio stations will not play it. Exactly. You know, and they, they and it's because they, there's, there's a, a kind of boycott almost if they would yes, start doing it. Yes. So you know, it's it's it, there's the irony of it. So you no, know, I'm a censorship you, <laughs> right? Because right. you're oppressing other people's right. 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 It's sort of funny in yeah, that aspect. No, that is that is but, that is. But yeah, like I said before, man, not even in Miami where there's the most concentration of Cubans, they they rarely play it you know you hear you hear uh victor manuel you hear eddie santiago you mm -hmm, hear mm -hmm. you know everybody but you know los bon bon you don't hear i mean right now it's, it's right now it, it's, right, it's, right now it's easing up but let's say two years ago they were not it was to, not doing you know when bon bon did their concert probably like maybe five years ago there was almost riots out out in the streets damn because, uh, that is some crazy shit they did their their concert you that know, is some so. crazy shit yeah, well, hopefully, you know, hopefully you're able to to separate these type of things, um, you know, music from uh, something from that politics, has nothing yeah. to do with Fidel Castro. I mean, they don't even agree with Fidel Castro. How the fuck? Be and why does your political ideals um, have to be included in the music that you put out? That's right. Yo, let me tell you something. Some of the most disturbed motherfuckers are the most, uh, you know, son los más que tienen más skills a la hora de creating good music. <laughs> That's right. That's the motherfucking truth. That's right. I.E. motherfucking Michael Jackson. That's right. You know That's what I right. mean? So if you're like, if you're Cuban American, you listen to me right now, but um, you don't want to hear any ch Charanga Banera, but you go ahead and listen to R. Kelly or Michael Jackson, man, then you know what I mean? A, that says a lot. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, just do it, man. Music is music, yo. Music. Good no, music is good music good from music. Where, wherever. From wherever. Puerto Rico, Cuba. Exactly. And that has not, New you got to be able wherever. to separate it. And that's why, you know, I always tell people this when they ask me specifically about this area, right, of 